Once again, let's talk about the notorious Gringo prices. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam, and at How to Expat, we help expats relocate. This video, I want to talk about Gringo prices. Why? We already did a couple of videos about Gringo prices, but I want to shine uh, the light from kind of another perspective on that topic which I think is an important fact you have to know if you want to avoid gringo prices in let's say Colombia or generally in Latin America. Um, so if you don't know what gringo prices are, gringo prices are um, if somebody sees that you're a foreigner they think you have a lot of money which in perspective to usually Latin American let's say income or salary is usually true so if even if you're a poor uh, dude in your home country or woman uh, you're usually quite well off in Latin America um, and they're going to take advantage because they think you have more money um, and you don't really know the, the local prices and stuff. So that's getting gringo gringo pricing. There are a thousand terms for that. Uh, another one is of course getting gouged. Um, the thing is here in Colombia, at least from my experience, it's not really too big of a deal actually, the gringo pricing. So it depends where you are. In Cartagena, for example, if you get in a taxi, you ha have to haggle, but also the, the, the locals have to haggle. So if you're, let's say, from Bogota and you go to Cartagena, you're going to get ripped off. And it's even worse, of course, if you're a tourist. But let's say here in Medellin, where most probably most people are interested, if, if you watch this video, it's not really too big of a deal. Uh, if it's late at night and you are perceived to be drunk or you might are totally wasted, yes, they try to maybe get something more out of you than it usually is. But at the end of the day, realistically, it's maybe a dollar fifty or something. So I yeah, usually, if I hear stories about that uh, or, or experience that myself, I don't really do anything. It's just, yeah, it's a dollar fifty. It's not too big of a deal. Um, where gringo prices really strike is usually when it uh, it's regarding housing so renting and um, especially buying and i will go into these two things um, with renting it's it's just a hard topic a lot of people think they're getting gringo priced when actually they're just paying more because it's a furnished apartment so if they go on airbnb and they see local listings for unfurnished apartments which are 400 bucks and they go on Airbnb and find something for 800 bucks, they think they're getting gouged. But if you add the cost of furniture, cost of internet, cost of amenities, cost of you don't have to worry about stuff, cost of your uh, covered with the Airbnb um, insurance and all of that, it's at the end of the day quite a good deal usually to go through Airbnb. The other thing is, of course, a lot of people uh, try to avoid these, let's say, gringo companies because they're gringo pricing and that may be a little bit true but at the end of the day of course these gringo companies have usually quite high or upscale apartments in their portfolio so you pay just for you pay more because it's a luxury apartment and not necessarily and the good service uh, on top of that usually uh, in english uh, which is not common for colombia as well um, instead of having to yeah, house, let's say, in a, in a middle class apartment, which is, which is usually not as nice or not, let's say, expat friendly, where people usually don't feel comfortable because it's too noisy or many, many other things. But this is about renting, where it really comes down with gringo pricing. And this is where uh, my special tip for gringo pricing comes in, which I've yeah, not really a lot of people heard talking about is if you want to buy real estate and there of course you have realtors this is all over the world it's the same thing you have realtors with more or less your um, priorities or you the best for your case in mind or they want to just get the biggest commission they can and this is just important to get a trustworthy real estate agent to be able to do that um, and this is really where you can save a ton of money we have seen clients we have seen friends that got not ripped off because they just didn't negotiate well. So uh, how can you negotiate well or they didn't have a trustworthy real estate agent? And um, how can you do that? The, the key factor there is patience. If a Colombian, for example, if they buy an apartment, the negotiations are is, is easily going months and months 
where they haggle and they haggle and they go away from the from their initial offer come back to it go away all of that and that plays out through months and months where they can reduce the price by tens of thousands of dollars usually um, so this is very very important we have a good friend uh, she's from Africa so I think they, this is where she has the haggling from um, she negotiated a furnished apartment but this was renting from I think $2,500 a month to I think around $1,200 a month just because she dragged the whole um, negotiation phase over around two months so this is just what you have to know you have to be patient you have to be patient if you wanna um, if you want to have let's say not the gringo pricing it's not really gringo pricing at that point but just may have a better price for you um, and get a trustworthy real estate agent if you want to work with the, the real estate agent we recommend highly recommend actually it's Juan Camilo um, which is very very trustworthy he really cares for for the clients and not just for a big commission which I think is not uh, or is rarer than it should be in uh, in, in Medellin actually um, we have a, a link to the email address you can contact him in the, in the description down below then another thing uh, and this is a, the, the thing I ne never really hear about people talking is the friend kind of price because there is a gringo price there is a standard price and then there is the kind of relation price uh, so if you have a good relationship with somebody or you know a, a realtor very well or you know just a local person that has an uncle that has a friend uh, that has a business that does let's say the furniture you want to buy then you get really really good prices so let's say you want to buy a bed if you do that with let's say a gringo price it's going to cost you a thousand bucks if you want to buy the exact same bed with a normal price it's going to pay you're going to pay let's say 600 bucks but if you know somebody that knows somebody that has a friend that can give you a good price you're going to get that that bed for 300 bucks delivered to your to your uh to your apartment um fixed up everything like it's really really incredible what you can do with let's say the friend price here in, in latin america so this is just one thing you have to know about a little bit other aspect of gringo pricing or pricing in general here especially here in colombia um yeah i think that was already it again if you're searching for an apartment uh for to buy an apartment i really can't ha uh, recommend Juan Camilo enough is really a good good guy and will take care of, of whatever you need uh, again the email to contact him is in the description down below hope to see you in the next video